Good evening, everyone. My name is Etaskins Code Primate. Welcome back to another Bloxburg where we are continuing our journey of chopping the trees and basically just talking the entire time. Um, all this week, it's just going to be Bloxburg, Bloxburg, Bloxburg. I know that you guys were um, interested in it whenever I recorded it last week. Ollie, I can hear you. Maybe I don't hear him. <laughs> well, he'll probably show up here in a little bit, but Oliver's been sneaking in and trying to get in on videos, and I figured, why not? I'll let him. It's fun. <sighs> Anyhow, it's been a really long weekend, and I'm hoping to have all these videos done. Like, this, this should be Wednesday's video, possibly. And it's just me taking out some trees, trying to get up to level. I wonder what happens after level 10. Like, does it just keep going? Do I get more money each time? Can I make it where, like, I come work for an hour and get, like, $10,000? That'd be great. That'd be excellent. Mm. Mm, excuse me. It feels like the, the first part of our episodes was just getting over here like that took a little while <clears throat> excuse me sorry it's it's the the mountain dew that i'm drinking it's a uh, mountain dew zero sugar major melon major melon hot two. it tastes like watermelon it's really good have you guys seen the um it's like hot Cheetos, super hot Cheetos Mountain Dew. Like I need, I need to purchase some and try it because <clears throat> I've never seen such a thing before. But you guys want to see another one of those uh, hot pepper challenges, where like I have to eat a hot pepper every time there's a donation or something like that. I like that one. That was that was fun. Of course, it was done with pepperoncinis, which I enjoy pepperoncinis thoroughly. Don't scare me, dude, if you're in here. Just come up. No? All right. I don't know if he's here or not. Which is is more scary than knowing it. <clears throat> Parents, do you have children who jump out and scare you every chance that they get? Comment down below. I'm kind of also wondering if all of these trees and stuff if it's all the same like the same model of tree and how are you guys keeping all this stuff together in the background like I've worked with data tables <clears throat> I'm very much more like I prefer SQL to Lua data stores because in SQL it's all structural, like it's it's structured um, identity based, key based. For example, whenever you have a database and you start in with creating it, you usually have your first one just called ID and that field is usually an integer, and you have it automatically increase on each one. So if there's new entries made, it just in increases like one, two, three, four. <laughs> Escape, elven, enter, just kidding. I wonder if that person actually did it and logged out. <clears throat> I don't know, look it up. Get out here. What job are you wanting to do? I mean, that's the first question. I would say. Like, if you're gonna, 
if you're going to change jobs. Hello, Jewel. Who? Any except hairdresser. I've got some new bills to pay. <clears throat> Do pizza deliveries. It's the best. Wood uh, lumberjacks are pretty good too. <laughs> Watch them come back and be like, lumberjacks suck. So let's see, how much money do I make off one tree? Let's bust out the handy dandy blues clues calculator here. All right. Uh, hi, I did not know you had Bloxburg. Why, why did you not know? Me? Uh, me? I have Bloxburg. Of course I have Bloxburg. I'm a, I'm a Robloxian YouTuber. Why would I not have Bloxburg? Just saying. Okay, so 8853. That's what we're starting with. Okay, that's... Alright, I'll figure it out. Alright, and... Minus 8921. Oops. Wait, what? Why did it do a clear? Okay, fine. 889... No, <clears throat> 8921. And we'll go to the next one. I don't know how to do anything. There we go. Minus 8990. So it's only about 70 per, per tree at level 9. Is that all I'm getting? 8990. Eight, nine, Minus eight. Okay. So yeah, that's about how much I'm getting per tree. Which doesn't seem like a lot now. Is it possibly my mood? Oh, I'm all the way down on moods. Boost it. Yes. Done. Okay. So now we got good boost mood. Let's check that work schedule. All right. 9156 minus 9156 minus... Oh, I am going faster. See that? Minus 9254. That was 98. So, we're getting more money because we're happier. So, if you're not happy, then you don't get the good money at the job. Makes sense. It's a correlation into real life. Be happy with the job that you've got. Or if you're too young and you don't have a job yet, then just enjoy doing what you do best. Playing video games, going to school. What is this? Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Through the mountains. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. <clears throat> I was looking back through uh, my video history on YouTube and I realized I missed 2014, 2015. Do you remember all the memes coming out and fidget spinners starting and just. <sighs> To a lot of you who are my viewers, that's your childhood. I mean, that's the stuff that you had growing up, you know? Can I just... Look at that. Don't, don't even need to move the mouse. Just keep it on the click down there. I wonder if an auto-clicker would help on this. <sighs> Is auto-clicking loud? Put it this way. Technically, you are not supposed to have an auto-clicker because it gives you an unfair advantage that normal people couldn't do. Technically, they could sit there and continuously click, but they wouldn't be able to click forever. And an auto-clicker can. So technically, technically speaking. Now, how's that for the mindsets of the people that are playing Roblox and everything else? 
a lot of people just don't care. I mean, it even comes down to like the developers just don't care. Which, <clears throat> I don't know. Who can stop them? Now, here's the other thing auto clicking, right? Versus exploit. What's the difference, code? Well, here's the thing if you exploit, you're taking an external program and injecting it into a legitimate program of some kind. So, like, <clears throat> um, like the interfaces and stuff. Those interfaces are actually drawn with Lua. They're not drawn with the program itself. So when you inject something, you're basically allowing Lua code to be put into the game that normally wouldn't go there. That's, that's what you're doing, essentially. And those interfaces, like, they look like this, just like this, but they're, they're built with Lua inside the game that you're exploiting. And code, why, do you, why would you tell us that? To have an understanding of like how it works, the actual injection itself is not the interface. The injection usually takes over a DLL file, it usually takes over a space of memory that's being preoccupied by the program that's there. Changes the programming memory. And that's usually how you do it. I mean, you, you could essentially change the programming of the program itself. So like, when you launch Roblox, there's a roblox.exe file in the background that actually launches and makes the, the game happen. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm explaining that right. Probably not, but that's fine. A little bit of an awkward silence right there while I thought of my words. Somebody's running way off in the background there. You still running? Or oh, they stopped. They may have stopped. They're right there. We're just gonna keep going. Just keep chopping. 78. Should make it 80. And this will make it 82. We might reach level 10 before Thursday. We'll reach it before the end of this episode. We're at 13 minutes right now. We have two minutes to keep chopping. Come on, level 10. Come on, level 10. It's games like this that I wish I could uh, automate sometimes, which I probably could. Not sure if I'd be able to do it with, uh, what is it, script it? Script it is an auto it language. Or that's the name of the program that auto it uses. Promotion! I got it. Promotion. How far can we get on this one? Oh, we have one minute. Let's see how many we can chop in one minute. Should I end the shift? I mean, I've got, I'm getting $12,000 here. Maybe, maybe I'll keep going. That'll be the big surprise on Friday. What number I can get to for Friday. I like it. like it a lot. Put your comments down below. This, this should be Wednesday's video, so put a comment down below. How far do you think I'm going to get by Friday? Friday, Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. The big crashes, bashes, and head blowing smashes. You'll buy the whole seat, but only need the edge. Raw monster trucks. Sorry. <sighs> I get excitable. That's all. Last one. Last one, and then I'll call it. There we go. Good deal. Well, uh, Blue Moon is out, so I think I, I'll take my leave. 
Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Bloxburg with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things, post call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. I love you for that. Have a great night. Uh-oh. Because the electricity and water have been shut off. That's fine. I don't need electricity or water. It's fine. <laughs> Forgot to pay your bills. <laughs> love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Outro.